The most important thing for an EOD technician is their ingenuity because they're going to be thrust into a situation where they have very little information. They're going to have to make a determination as to how to solve that problem. The hardest part of my job is cutting through the bureaucratic processes, which the chief of staff has directly addressed. But while a lot of people would look at that as a limitation and an obstruction, I'm encouraging our airmen to find ways around those obstructions. So the heads-up display is a byproduct of that. So they um, gave us a HUD to try out for anywhere between like three and six weeks they said we could keep it. It's the prototype so they're trying to find out things wrong with it, things that they can improve on. So after we give them feedback and fill out some surveys and kind of test it out and we teach everyone in the shop how to use it, then we'll give them that feedback and hopefully they'll improve on the HUD and then make it better. The capabilities that they were telling about sounded really cool. Some of the things that they were saying it could do was you could go down range, you could take a video or take a picture of the item in question, and then you could send it back up range to your team members. They could then process that x-ray and then send it back to you on the HUD, so the heads up display, or your team members can send you a simple message like, hey, commander's here, uh, the commander's on scene, and just to keep you aware and to keep you in the loop and so you know what's going on and so that you can communicate better with your team members. Innovation continues. I, I could go on and on and on about ideas that I have, whether it's robotics or setting up a different type of complex on our range to facilitate things like breaching techniques and shoot, move, and communicate training efforts. But at the end of the day, it's simply having conversations. And whatever topic is the topic of discussion, because if you get your airmen talking, and they're able to communicate to you, they're gonna find answers and they're gonna come up with solutions to the, the next problem that you encounter, wherever that is, whether it's here on base or overseas.